Hello everybody, Reverend Dr. Roger here. Let me first start off by saying that considering the content of this video, I'm probably going to get a different crowd than what I normally get with my other videos and my other articles on my websites. So, uh, let me just say that anybody who has a problem with my appearance, let me direct you to my video on my channel uh, entitled A New Minister for a New World. If I remember, I'll add a link to that in the description of this video. <coughs> um, and this video is a video article combo. So please watch the video, read the article, and then comment or ask me any questions you have. And keep in mind that any profane or derogatory comments are going to be deleted. And any threats in my direction, the direction of this ministry, or the direction of anybody <coughs> will be reported to the proper authorities. <coughs> so please only ask clean questions and make clean comments. Any derogatory or profane comments are going to be deleted. Any threats are going to be reported to the proper authorities. Now this video is on a very controversial topic, but it is based on statistical and historical facts. If you don't believe me, you can look it up for yourself. Um, on this video, as well as on the article, I have numerous links to a few other sources aside from my video and my article that you can look at for information on what it is I am addressing in this video. <coughs> now, I want to ask everybody a question. I'm going to name a couple of different things and I want you to keep in mind when I'm going over while I'm speaking on this video. The first thing that comes to your mind when I say these topics. They are as follows. White pride. <coughs> what comes to your mind? Black pride. Gay pride. Asian pride. Uh, Islamic pride. Christian pride. <coughs> and I'll leave it at that. <coughs> what comes to your mind when you hear those terms mentioned? Now, I understand what I'm going to say in this video is going to be hard for a lot of you to understand because for the past 40 or 50 years or so, the propaganda machine has been working hard here in America as well as in other nations to brainwash the people, particularly the white people and nowadays the Christians, to feel sorry for themselves, to feel guilty of what our cultures have done in the past, and that white pride automatically equates out to racism. Now, if white pride is racism, how come black pride isn't? How come Asian pride isn't? How come gay pride isn't? How come Islamic pride isn't? Everybody's real quick to bash the Christians because of the Crusades without even realizing the fact that long before the Crusades even happened, there were numerous attacks on the Christians themselves. <coughs> and actually even a good number of these attacks were by Muslims. More than three quarters of the Christian world was taken over. Then finally we had a response because the Christians decided that was that enough was enough. They're going to defend their culture, they're going to defend their people, and they're going to defend their way of life. And they fought back. <coughs> then there's the white race. The white race right now is only at a 1.3 reproduction rate. The sustainable reproduction rate is 2.1. Obviously, the white race is far below the sustainable birth rate. That is because 
we are being trained that we are guilty. We are evil. We are being taught this by the propaganda machine. It is everywhere. The blacks are hearing it from their, from their uh, pastors. The entire population is hearing it from the propaganda machine. And every individual race and every individual culture has their own way of ways of dealing with their number one or everybody else is lesser. And what's been happening is because of this guilt trip the propaganda machine is putting on the white race, white people have started having fewer and fewer babies. They even went as far as <clears throat> having abortions and going by statistics the blacks have a higher abortion rate than the whites, but the whites are still getting abortions at an alarming rate. And even though the blacks are getting a exceedingly high number of abortions, they're still at a healthy, uh, sustainable birth rate, whereas the white race isn't. Then there's the fact that the United States Census Bureau incorporates Mexicans, Latinos, and Puerto Ricans as sub-races of the white race. So even though according to the United States Census Bureau, more than 73% of America is classified as white, that's not true. Going by factual statistics, there's a rough estimate that only 20% of the global population <clears throat> is white. Only 3% of the population is white females of childbearing age. <clears throat> so what we are looking at, more or less, is the international genocide of the white race. By the white race formed for this guilt trip and formed for the propaganda being being forced fed on our throats, we are literally allowing the genocide to take place on our people. And we are literally committing suicide. We are helping it along. If we don't start standing up for ourselves and grabbing a hold of our culture and grabbing a hold of our own people and taking care of ourselves, the white race is going to go extinct. And any other race watching this video right now, you need to understand that there's four predominant races. Each of these predominant races have sub-races. These predominant races are the white race, the Asian race, the Hispanic race, and the black race. And then every other race falls in a, into a subcategory of those four races. Now, it's been proven that at the, when man first saw on this planet, there was approximately six predominant races. Today there's only four. So to say that a predominant race, or any race for that matter, can't run going extinct is absurd because two predominant races have gone extinct. Entire cultures have been wiped out before. There's numerous Native American tribes that nobody even knows about nowadays uh, because they have died out. Some of them died out with the coming of the Europeans to America. Others died out well before that due to the inter-tribal warring of the different Native American tribes. Then you have the fact that the Aztecs and the Mayans both died out. Just one day they were there, very predominant culture, very predominant way of life, and just like that, they're gone. So entire cultures and entire races have been wiped out before. This is nothing new. And for everybody that's saying, well, even if the, if the white race gets knocked out, it doesn't matter, you know, 
<coughs> will it make it change all that much? Well, actually it will. Number one, you got to think, well, who's behind this racial genocide of the white race? And why are they looking for the genocide of the white race? Why don't they want the white race to exist? Once the white race is extinct and their goal of exterminating the white race is complete, what race are they going to go after next? Going by statistics of intelligence, the next race that they're going to go after to exterminate is probably going to be the Asians. The people behind this are more popularly uh, known as the elite. They're trying to create an entirely new race that will be completely docile. In other words, they won't be as intelligent or have IQs as high as them. So on an intelligent, intelligence standpoint, the, these people will not be able to rise up against them and defeat them and create a uh, culture of their own or a nation of their own. They're going to be completely dependent upon the elite. But they also want them built enough and strong enough where they can do physical labor. Well, the right, white race and the Asian race are the two more, more intelligent races that there are. There have been numerous studies that have been done on that, and as the studies show, the white race and the Asian races are the two more intelligent races. When it comes down to the blacks and the Hispanics, it's debatable who they're going to exterminate because Hispanics prove to be hard workers, but the blacks have a better build. They got the, they have a better structured body. So to try to say that all races are equal is a false statement. To say that there are no differences whatsoever between the races, that there are no such thing as racial differences, is absurd. And another thing that is going to happen with the extinction of the white race is the fact that a lot of the global welfare programs that you predominantly see in America, the, the European nations, you know, and pretty much the majority of the Western uh, nations, is the welfare programs. Most of the welfare programs are paid into by the white people. The white working class is what's paying into welfare programs. So once the white race is gone, everybody who's come dependent on these welfare programs are no longer going to have these welfare programs because there's nobody paying into these programs. And so they're not going to be able to sustain anymore. They're not going to exist. Uh, and going by recent studies, <coughs> it has shown that <coughs> there are a lot of white people that are proud of uh, proud they're white, that are proud of their culture, and they, and they are proud of their heritage, but they're in the closet about it. Because they're scared of what's going to happen if they go out and, they, and they're promoting white pride. Well, as far as I'm concerned, there is nothing wrong with promoting white pride. Every single race and every single culture has a right to be proud of who they are, where they come from, and of their individual cultures. If you're going to equate white pride to racism, we should do the same thing with black pride, with Asian pride, Hispanic pride. We can even go as far as gay pride and uh, Islamic pride, since everybody's trying to say that Christian pride is racism, even though it's not a race. And just to be clear, I'm not 
saying that I condone violence in any way, shape, or form. I am not trying to promote violence in any way, shape, or form. Just to be clear about that now. And just to be clear, yes, I am proud of my heritage. I am proud of my culture. My family comes from Ireland, and I am very proud of my Irish heritage. But that does not make me a racist. What I'm going to say is that multiculturalism is not working. We've tried it, and it is not working. And if you look at what's going on in the world, every country out there that is predominantly of another race, they are not being, they're not forcing multiculturalism on their people. It is only the white nations that's being forced with multiculturalism. If you look at inside these nations, the other communities, if you have solid black communities, solid Hispanic communities, solid Asian communities, <coughs> etc., you will not hear not one word that those communities need to learn about diversity and they need to grow more diverse. You will only hear that a community needs to grow more diverse if that community is a solid white community and you will keep on hearing that that community needs to be more diverse until the very last white person has now been removed from that community. Now that community will, be, will officially be declared as a diverse community. Even though it's not really diverse because it's either a makeup of blacks, Hispanics, Asians, and, and all other races, or it'll be a solid racial community of any race but the white race. It is only the white race that is told that we need to be more diverse it is only the white race that is being told that we can't be proud of who we are and we can't be proud of our culture and we can't be proud of our heritage. And nowadays, if you look at statistics, it is only the white race that is being turned down from jobs for other lesser qualified people. Say I had... 20, 30 years experience with degrees all over the place. Okay? For, um, I don't know, sociology. Sociology and psychology. I applied for a job to be a social worker. And actually, I have all the experience, I have all the qualifications, but if anybody, any other race, no qualifications whatsoever, no experience whatsoever, applies to that same position, they're going to get it over me. Why? Because I am white. They are not. This affirmative action is literally playing into the genocide of the white race. The white race is being shunned from jobs, turned away from jobs. A lot of white people are being turned away from college tuitions and from college period if they don't have enough of a particular uh, group in their student body. So you know that white student might be able to afford those classes. We're gonna allow a, a black or a Hispanic or an Asian or, or whatever that can't afford the tuition to commit financial suicide and rack up in debt that their children will probably inherit to that school because we need to have the next amount of other any anybody other than the white race in, in, in the student body. So even though we know we're going to get paid from this white student, we are going to allow this Asian or this black or this Hispanic or this Arab to commit financial suicide to get them into the student body. Everything that, is going, that I'm speaking about and everything that I wrote in the article are all facts. If people would just
turn off mainstream media and take a look out into the main real world, away from the TV screen and away from the computer screen, you see all this. <coughs> and I'm here to say that there is nothing wrong with being proud to be white. There's nothing wrong with being proud to be a Christian. There's nothing wrong to be for a white man to, or a white woman to be proud of their culture and their heritage. And if anybody wants to give the argument, well, the white man enslaved, the, enslaved us or, or enslaved the blacks, the white man loved the crusades, the white man did this, the white man did that. Let me tell you something, okay? My family, as I said, comes from Ireland. My family and my people from Ireland were enslaved quite a number of times throughout history. We were enslaved by the Americans, well, it was only the colonies, but you get the point. We were treated like dirt by the Americans once America was finally formed. The English enslaved us. The Vikings slaughtered us. And yes, these are other white people, other sub races to the white race. So the white, technically, the white man was enslaving their own people. All right. And every race out there is guilty of the same thing. Native Americans enslaved each other. Africans enslaved each other. To this day, Arabs are enslaving blacks in Africa. And actually, their word for slave and their word for black is the same word in Islam. It's the same word. So even if you have a black Muslim, they are seen on the same level as a slave in Islam. They're no better than a slave. So every culture and every race is guilty of everything everybody is trying to make the white race and the white people feel guilty of what our ancestors have done. Number one, I'm not my ancestors, okay? My family never had any slaves. And even if my family did own slaves, I'm not my ancestors. And one thing I want need to realize, too, is back in the days of America, in the South, in the Confederate States of America, you did have rather well-off, free, black citizens that had their own plantations and had their own slaves. Their slaves were other blacks. So that didn't just happen in tribal Africa where blacks were enslaving blacks. It happened here in America too where blacks were enslaving blacks. And it has been said that a lot of the black slave owners treated their slaves a lot worse than some of the white slave owners did. So before you try putting down the white man or before, if you are white, before you start putting yourself down and being scared to admit you're proud of your culture and proud of your heritage, look up the facts. Do your own research. Do your own due diligence. It, what you learn might surprise you. And then we have if you really want to accuse people of, in the white pride arena of automatically they're, they're racist, then I believe we can say the same thing on the black pride movement. A perfect example of this would be the new Black Panther Party. Everybody's saying that they're only out there preaching black pride. I don't have a problem with that. 
every race and every culture has the right to be proud of who they are and to be proud of their culture and their heritage and where they come from. But when they are literally calling for the death of the white man and the death of the white babies, <coughs> you're calling for genocide. <coughs> and that right there is racial supremacy. <coughs> if any race calls for the extinction of another race, that is racial supremacy. So, going by that fact, the new Black Panthers would have to be considered racist. If you don't want to call the new Black Panthers racist, then you really can't say any organization or any individual in the white pride arena is a racist. And even if you are going to acknowledge that yes, the new Black Panthers and the Black Hebrew Israelites, I did a video on them, you can look that up, and I have links to other videos on the Black Hebrew Israelites to, on my video. But even if you are going to acknowledge that the Black Hebrew Israelites and the new Black Panthers are racist, you still have to acknowledge that not everybody in the white pride arena is a racist. Yes, you do have your racists, you do have your white supremacists, just like you have your black supremacists, your Asian supremacists, your Hispanic supremacists. But, not everybody who is white and who is proud of their culture and proud of their heritage is a racist. A lot of people are simply just proud of who they are, proud of where they come from, proud of their heritage. And there's nothing wrong with that, nothing at all. Every body, every race, and every culture has the right to be proud of who they are. But in the same respect, when you mix cultures, you're going to get what we are now seeing today people will can too easily be able to spark the whole racial tension and sooner or later it's going to ignite into race riots. Quite frankly, I think that's what this regime is looking for. But even if they're not, by mixing cultures, that is a breeding ground to have riots interracial and intercultural riots. Multiculturalism simply does not work. Now, as I said earlier in the video, I'm not calling for unnecessary violence. I'm not promoting violence. I do not condone unnecessary violence. But I do feel that everybody should have their plot of land and stay there. And no other individual outside their race or outside their culture should be allowed to take home on that land. And the only time in each individual culture or each individual race should meet each other is for purposes of trade. And that's it. If you keep yourself separate and you only allow yourself to meet for trade purposes, you are ensuring the preservation of your race. Now, I'm not a racist. I'm not, I'm not, let me tell you that now. You don't understand that. What I'm calling for is, and what I am trying to promote, is racial awareness. I'm trying to promote preservation, not hatred, not racism. As I said, this is a video article combo. Please click on the link below to view the article. 
uh, if you came to this video from the article, then I will now accept your comments. Like I said, any profane or derogatory comments will be deleted. Any threats will be reported to the proper authorities. So let's keep it clean. I will answer your comments and your questions. And remember, that if you are white, there is nothing wrong with being proud of who you are, being proud of your heritage, and being proud of your culture. There is nothing wrong with that. Not at all. And if you're going to try to send that white pride automatically equals out to the racism, you have to say the same thing about black pride, gay pride, Islamic pride, and every other kind of pride. It is not racism. There's a fine line between being proud of who you are and being proud of your culture and heritage and being a racist. There's a fine line between that. And, you know, people really need to wake up to what's going on. So please click on the links to the, to the other articles and videos that I have linked up. Do your own research, do your own due diligence, and let's keep this racial awareness going. As I said, I'm not promoting violence, I don't condone violence. I'm simply trying to promote racial awareness and preservation of the white race. If things keep on going the way it's going, the white race is going to go extinct. We need to start banding together and looking after our own people. It isn't a matter of, you know, one race is better than the other race, or one culture is better than the other culture. It's a matter of preserving our individual races. And if we don't work now to preserve our individual races, whether you're white, black, Hispanic, Asian, or whatever, sooner or later, you might be at the point where you're looking at your race becoming extinct. Separatism isn't just good for the preservation of the white race, it's good for the, for the preservation of all races. The only way to preserve your race, the only way to preserve your culture and your heritage is in a separatist society. Multiculturalism simply does not work. And before I go on to all that rant, I'm going to end the video here. As I said, I'll answer your comments and questions, but keep them clean. Profane and derogatory comments will be deleted. Any threats will be reported to the authorities. Before you comment or ask any questions, please make sure you read through the article that I wrote. Read the, my, the articles I linked up to and view the videos I linked up to. Do your own research and make sure you're well studied on this topic. And I understand it's going to be hard for a lot of people to grab, but it's the truth. And it does go against everything a lot of people know, because all well, the more the majority of people are going by is mainstream media. And they're a bunch of liars. They're propaganda machine. They're preaching hatred of the white race. They're preaching hatred of the Christians. They're preaching hatred of the very foundation of what this nation was built on. In most cases, they're preaching hatred for themselves. How can you trust somebody who's preaching hatred for themselves? You can't. They're liars. It's that simple. I'll cut the video here before I go on, continue going on a rant. Make this video a lot longer than I wanted it to be. And I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Till then, God bless.